that needed it originally. 15 after 11 o'clock and, well, 17 degrees downtown. Doesn't matter, I already won. I really did. Knew it was going to get there too. Didn't think that Barbara was going to um, go so low this morning. though. I thought she might have been about 20 degrees, but 16, okay, feasible. Didn't work. It is Tuesday, September the 6th. You're right here at Jokes. What are you doing, Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> You're making with the machine. No, it doesn't want to go that way. It's a Mickey way of doing things, right? Yeah, yeah okay. Fair enough. Um, Matt Bayless is watching. Wow, that's really, really quick. Nice to have you on board, Matt. It is Hi, Tuesday, guys. September the 6th, and uh, well, I tell you what, let me do this. Galaxy! Galaxy! That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and believe me, I've been wanting to do this one for a little minute now. I've got to be honest with you, uh, ever since uh, we've started communicating with these gentlemen, uh, believe me, it's been getting more and more and more interesting as we've gone on. In the meantime, their music literally has been absolutely inundating our breakfast show here at Galaxy and I've got to congratulate them for that. But first of all, got to welcome along everybody and joining us on Facebook Live if you're going to watch a little later on on YouTube. You know what to do, right? Uh, no, you do. Seriously. Uh, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Yep, bell notifications for when we have important people like the Heartland Roots Band coming out of Leicester in the UK today. Uh, thumb. Get epileptic with that. Go on. I dare you, dare you, dare you. Just go on. Give it the you know, what to do, and subscribe, be part of the family, become part of the noise here at Galaxy, yes, yeah, subscribe, go on, double, double dare you. Uh, having said that, of course, uh, this morning, England looks to be having a brand spanking new Prime Minister, uh, Boris isn't talking to me anymore, I, simply because I'm making fun of him, I think, these days, because remember when he was having his parties, I asked him why he hadn't invited me, and he said to me, Grant, I think it is sensible to wait just a little longer. Just a little longer. Just. Well, well, I waited. Now where are you? Nowhere. You're in the naughty <laughs> corner, aren't you? They put you in the naughty corner. Yeah, she'll treat you right. Don't you worry about that. In the meantime, believe me, it is such a pleasure to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, right here with Galaxy. <laughs> Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music to watch it. You know, I'm all fired up. Let's get at least two feet off the ground. Here's the Heartland Roots Band. <laughs> How are you feeling, guys? I'm running. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Absolutely. Alice Walker is joining us. You guys know Alice, don't you? No. Yeah, that I was going to, if you didn't mind, I was going to give him a big shout out and the, and the Southern Outlaw Band, if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've just done it. <laughs> Literally, you've just done it. Uh, but uh, nice to have Alice on board. Uh, are you going to uh, take an interview with Alice? He's, he's great at what he does. Oh, there well, if, if, the lovely Alice and his band and the radio stations in Ohio in the US survey want to get us involved, bring it on. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Mike Gill is watching as well. Uh, nice to have Mike back again, it really, really is. Greg Lifesaver was watching uh, just a wee while ago in the last interview we did. Uh, you guys are famous, absolutely famous. We love you, we do. And cheers for it. Hello, sweetheart. Coming out of the UK, believe me, absolutely love, love, love the work you do. Keep in touch with us, won't you, sweetie? Please, we love what you do. We do. Uh, we're going to do something really, really interesting today, too, is we're going to, while we're doing the interview, we're going to open a package. But this is significant because it arrived today and it came from the gentleman that we're talking to right now. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Connie Castle Tuck is joining us as well. Nice to have uh, Connie on board as well. Uh, guys, we literally do broadcast to every, almost every English-speaking country in the world, if you know what I mean. So I will give you stats as we go through this. Um, at the same time, 
when we're finished with this, uh, just hang in there very, very briefly because we do a little thing called taking photos and Barbara puts it all together. Uh, you'll get a copy of everything we do. Put, that make, make some movie out of the interview that we're doing right now and that goes on to YouTube. Don't forget subscribe. And uh, have you guys ever been a cartoon before? No. No, no. Uh, we've met some characters. Right. <laughs> Not really, uh, not really cartoon. Uh, we're going for anything. Gosh, guess what? You're going to be now. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen our photos. Believe, believe me, before. Barbara makes cartoons out of the um, the movie as well. So, uh, and of course, it all goes on YouTube, which is going to be around until the dinosaurs come back, as you know. <laughs> it really is. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Guys, I yeah. love, love, well, love your fine. work. I'm sorry? We're happy to hang around, so we're in no rush, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, just get rid of that tag that's just popped up. He's not uh, starting till noon. Not starting until noon? Mm. Okay. He's driving. Oh, he's got 12 hours, you know. <laughs> he's got six hours to get through it. <laughs> Another six hours to call a psychiatrist afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and I have been so wanting to get this one done, I really have, I couldn't wait to be able to meet Nick and of course Paul from the band Heartland Roots Band coming out of the UK. Now let me tell you something here, believe me, absolutely love, love, love these guys, I really do. The work is fantastic, as an engineer I don't listen to music, as a fan would listen to music, I listen to it as an engineer or a DJ, maybe a music salesperson, uh, so I take an extra special ear and this is work that is absolutely exceptional, all I can say is go check them out, wherever you are, go and have a look, literally, uh, the other day they were doing a concert, 7,000 people, fantastic, uh, that's a, you know, <laughs> it's a Sunday night where I used to work though, but <laughs> it really is. Uh, but having said that, we've just done two feet off the ground. We got coming up feeling lucky. We do, we really do. Hit me like a freight train, bullet from a gun, which is making inroads here at Galaxy, and of course, gasoline, which is their number one choice uh, by you, the fans. Believe me, we're going to go down the road of all of that, but let's start off with. Good evening. Well, it's morning over there. We're in the same time zone now, I presume. Welcome to Galaxy. Thank you so much. We're happy to be here and thank you for inviting us on your lovely show that we've been uh, taking part in now for, for some months when we found out about you and we're grateful to be here. Well, it's believe, uh, both. well believe me, uh, it is an absolute honour to have you joining us. It really is. Uh, and of course, we're talking to Nick and Paul from the band Heartland Roots Band. Now, let's run down through the band. Believe me, you're going to love this. I really, really do. Uh, the band members are Sam Hobson. Uh, she does vocals. She really does. Anna Cruzier uh, is on keyboards. Cal Bishop and Eddie Cruiser, uh, both doing guitars. Paul Harkins, who's joining us today, Harko, is the drummer. you got to pick it. You kind of pick it out, one, can't you? And, of course, Nick Please is the bass guitarist. Uh, Nick, got to be honest with you, love, love, love the stingers you sent me. Thank you so much. Oh, they weren't too cutting edge for the uh, for your listeners, but we've got plenty more if you want them. <laughs> but yes, I do, and I play the hell out of them, i got to be honest with you. Uh, it's all about having a bit of humour, and I appreciate anybody who has a funny bone. Literally, you'd be surprised how many don't, <laughs> to be honest with yeah. you. 
Uh, a lot of them don't actually get my jokes either, to be very well. That, that's not hard, though, way. Eh? <laughs> really, it's not hard. We started off the show, guys, with two feet off the ground. So I think it's only right that we say, explain this. How did you come to the lyrics of this? I thought that's one for Paul, definitely. Um, okay, so the, 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 the songs, they all have different meanings and different approaches. Um, the the new album that we put out is very very dark, but two feet off the ground. If you listen to the lyrics, it's 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 much around a relationship, uh, how where uh, uh, the one party spots off the other one, uh, to the to, to the extent that they really do feel two feet off the ground. Um, so that, that song was written a few years back, but the actual video when it was when it was released came at the height of COVID. So it was like, well, how on earth do we get to a location or how do we get to a studio and actually record the video that needs to go out with this single when it's released? And so essentially everybody was on their phones at their own homes with a chroma key background. Um, and then it was all drawn together by our videographer who put it together. So people that watch, people that watch the video, they'll see various band members uh, sort of flying through the sky. Um, of course they're not, they're sat on the kitchen table. Um, <laughs> but that, that was, that was, it was quite a test really to put that song together and actually put it out because that was a prime example of COVID affecting a band who were trying to put out a new single every quarter with a quality video. And how do you do this when you've got social distancing and there's six of you in the band? You can't be together. <laughs> so it was quite miraculous. The end product, we, we were very happy with it. Yeah. Believe me, believe me, I've, I've heard the same kind of questions and the same answers uh, for the last couple of years, I've got to be honest with you. I've got friends in Germany that are collaborating with friends of ours in North Carolina, if you know what I mean. And mm. the technology is just superb these days. Fantastic. Got to be honest, uh, I've been an engineer now almost 40 years and I've worked in some of the most prestigious uh, recording studios around the world and including here in New Zealand. And... Well, you know, there's some bands that are coming out with some home studio stuff. I can't tell the difference anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, if we could, if I could intercede at that point and give a massive shout out to Adam, who, uh, who runs a studio in Leicester called Deadline Studios, and had some fairly famous people through his doors, who, uh, who kindly does all our stuff and. Uh, he does a great job for us, so thank you, Adam. There you go. Absolutely love that. Nice plug, too. Uh, having said that, uh, two feet off the ground, I actually thought, you know, uh, it might have been a joke to start off with because I could make a joke out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really could, you know, uh, as long as you're not Irish. They might not no. find it so funny. You know about the Irishman that jumped out of the aeroplane without a parachute, right? Go yeah, he got two feet off the ground and said, I can, I can jump yeah. from here. Yeah. I thought uh, you were going to go to a Tom Petty song, Free Falling. Yeah, no, believe me. <laughs> believe me. Uh, believe me, I actually do parachuting myself. I've been doing it for many, 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 many years, and I've got so many very, very funny stories to tell you about that particular trade, which is rather funny. Uh, but, you know, feeling lucky? Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's it. That's all yeah. Good. We often, we don't we? Feeling yeah. lucky tonight, yeah. Tell me about feeling lucky tonight, because usually, uh, well, it's never me. You know, <laughs> I, I feel lucky. I just never get there. Okay. Well, I think you, you, you're skirting around just about the right plot for the song. <laughs> and what was written. Uh, it, um, when when Sam actually introduces the song when we play it live. Uh, her patter is along the lines of anybody out there feeling lucky tonight and you can imagine when a few beers have gone down the response that we get from that um, and for some reason it makes people dance all the more yeah. whether they feel it's uh, their opportunity to start mingling, uh, mingling and picking people out <laughs> in the audience uh, we don't know but um, yeah a good upbeat song both in, in the lyrics and the way the music chugs along um, yeah, we like it. It's, it's another song that's been out some time now. Not not on the new album, um, but that got to, I think, number two in the Apple iTunes chart when that was released 
as a single. So that was proof in the pudding that people out there do like it. They downloaded it, and hopefully they're still some really lucky tonight with it. it it's an upbeat song in the set. No, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, get more in depth than this, but first of all, <clears throat> are you familiar with Knightsbridge in London? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I lived and worked in them for years, and so did Paul. Okay, yeah, well, a young lady, uh, it is, yeah, a young lady by the name of Maddie is saying, when you're coming back down here to get, get a knees up. Uh, well, that, that's, wow. a, that's a Cockney knees up. That's Cockney rhyming slang for dancing. Yeah. Okay, so when are you going to Knightsbridge? Put this lady out of her misery. Give her a date. Go on, I dare you. Give her what? A date when we go to Knightsbridge? Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, we've we, we've just done quite a few festivals, not a million miles away from London this summer. Um, I'm trying to think. When are we back down there? Yeah. Um, apparently, she's seen you live uh, not so long ago, and absolutely loved you. We'd love to see you down in Knightsbridge. Oh, that's lovely. Well, um, oh, well. Leave well, with us. We'll speak yeah. to our business manager. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I tell you what, Maddie. I'll keep you informed. How's that? Keep. Yeah. Absolutely. Please do. Um, but we'd we'll love to. And then any invitations? A great invitation for us. So. Very, very cool. When we come back, believe me, I want to find out all about the band. But in the meantime, here's the Heartland Roots band coming out of Leicester, UK, and feeling lucky tonight. <laughs> Gosh, uh, can we have yeah, some air conditioning, please? Yep. yep. Grant. Yes, sir. We've just been told by one of the other guys in the band that we'll be playing next summer. We'll be playing in London. Okay. Well, I'll. I'll... But now, whether that's Knightsbridge or not, Knightsbridge is very posh. It's really posh. I mean, well, we're talking. <clears throat> I, I, I see. Around there. We're talking billion pound houses, yeah. Harrods, Chelsea, Fulham, etc. Yeah. 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 Believe me, I lived in Piccadilly. <laughs> Very nice, Piccadilly's back near the statue near Eros. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to work in a place called Church back in the day. Uh, oh, the church? Yes. What, near, near King's Cross? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was, well, it's a big Baptist pub, yeah? Yeah, I was the DJ there. Oh, man, well... You and I maybe would have met. I was there in the, in the 1980s, from 85 to about eight, uh, 89, 90, and I was a regular down there on a Friday night. We used to go to the church, and then they had a sister place off the Tottenham Court Road. Yep. Because yep. the church was open at ridiculous hours, wasn't it? Yeah, you know? absolutely. It was, it was full of Kiwis and Aussies and backpackers, and yeah. yeah, we used to have a wicked time down there. Yeah, yeah, ab yeah. absolutely. Well, believe me, bro, I was uh, DJ there for about... Almost two and a half years? That's maybe where we've met before then, DJ Graham. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 Nick, yeah. I've got to be honest. Uh, when Barbara showed me your photo, the first reaction is, I know this guy. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, Crime Watch. Oh, that'll be it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> Gallery. I, I, I do watch Police 999. <laughs> yeah. The night shift, I watched that, I've seen it before. I, I can't get past the fact that you guys get so hammered on insurance. What, 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 what type of insurance? Do you mean for cars or general? Yeah. Or well, cars. Cars, literally. These cops are pulling you over because they've got, what, recognition software and cameras and stuff in their cars and on bridges and everywhere. Yeah. You yeah. can't so go anywhere. We're, we're, we're camera'd up to the max, Grant. Everywhere we go, we're, we're camera'd up, man. Big brother. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, bro. Um, there might be 10% of Kiwis that actually has insurance. The rest of us say we do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, it's how it was in Britain 20, 30 years ago. And I, I'm not saying you're behind us in any way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. like it like that. We don't want to be like you guys. Bugger that. No, I, to be honest, I don't blame you. I do not feel like going down the road buying a brand new car, having the insurance a little late by about 24 hours and some cop crushes my car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's ridiculous. I'm feeling lucky.
You know, you, you just love this music, you really do. It's, it's my kind of music, it's the stuff that I play in my car. And, well, it's music to drive fast to, to be honest with you. <laughs> and I do. <coughs> I really do. Uh, I've I got to explain to you, and, and this is quite true, Nick and Paul, that it's really not that easy to get an interview here at Galaxy, all played on our radio station. Believe me, uh, the board has a very, very high standard, and... Uh, there's not a lot that gets through uh, unless it's got their approval. Uh, Barbara presents it to the board. Uh, there may be anybody from uh, 8 to 12 in the board at any given meeting. You know what I mean? They go through, yeah, the, mm -hmm. meticulously, they go through everything we do because it's about our image. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm the only one that lets our image down, let's be honest. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and I do it. I do it on purpose, so I've got to be honest with you. But we really only play the best music in the world here at Galaxy. And uh, Barbara gets it given back to her from, of course, the board with approval. That goes to production. Production and Barbara, yeah, they fight and scratch. Because there's only so many days in the week that we can do this. Yeah, and we course, only, yeah. only have a certain amount yeah. of time to be able to do this. Then Barbara gives it to me on a USB kind of device that I play in my car. And I've got to be honest, Paul, I have a kick-ass stereo in my car. I really, really do. Uh, and sometimes okay. sometimes when there's gas shortages, all I do is turn up the volume and I get there anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> running on fumes. Yeah, well, running on base pressure, pushing me down the road sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah. having said that, uh, the reason I get it in my car is basically for two reasons. The first reason, guys, is nobody but nobody can influence and, uh, influence me on whether or not I want to do the interview. It's based on the music. No information at all. I don't get the band name. I don't get the artist name. I don't get the title. I just get the music. You know what I mean? So I go driving yeah. and I listen to the music for the value that it is as an engineer uh, while I'm doing something I enjoy, driving fast. And uh, where we are, we're in between three major cities, out in a little uh, sawmilling town, I've got to be honest, uh, between three and 7,000 population. It's not huge, but it's not small either. And what I yeah, do is yeah. I, I go down through the forestry fire breaks in my car. <laughs> and I've been doing it for about eight or nine years now. Believe me, I know them backwards now. Uh, because I know where they hide the combinations and the keys to get in there. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Knowledge is power. It is. It absolutely is. But when I very first heard your music, uh, it was in a particular spot where literally it's very paramount. Uh, you, you could just love it. It looks over, overlooks a gully and uh, believe me, it's a good time and a good place to be able to pull over, crack a beer, turn up the stereo, and just enjoy what's playing. What I heard was, hit, hit me like a freight train. That's my very first introduction to the Heartland Roots Band. This is the one that made me decide, yes, I want to know more about you guys. So, <clears throat> guys, first of all, I'm going to get into it before we get into Hit Me Like a Freight Train. Tell me a little bit about the band. Tell me about your singer, Sam, and... Uh, how long has she been singing? This is a fantastic voice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, well yeah. Sam, first of all, we, we were very lucky um, when we advertised for a singer that Sam came along because she, yeah, she, she, she you know, and we tell her so, she's got an extraordinary voice. Uh, she can go from a whisper to a scream um, in next to no time. And um, everything between. But everything's there. The, 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 the power, the energy, um, if, if, if one of the others in the band is singing, she's always there with a harmony to drop in as well. But then, for example, Hit Me Like a Freight Train, that, apart from needing a real strong, powerful vocal, there's also an awful lot of emotion in the verses, and she manages to pour all of that out. Now, I'm sure Sam won't mind us saying to you guys, we're actually the first band that she's fronted as a singer because her, her past, her history, has been in musical theatre. So, for example, if there are any people from Leicester listening, uh, one of the successful theatres in Leicester is The Curve, The Curve Theatre, and she's appeared at a number of productions there 
in this musical theatre background that she's got. Um, she has just got UK citizenship, but she's actually uh, a native of South Africa. So her and her husband came over to this country. Uh, they've now got a little daughter as well. Um, and she's very firmly fixed within the UK. So that's her background, really. Musical theatre rather than being in a Brit country rock stroke Americana band. Um, but she, she fitted the bill. And, you know, to be fair, the, one of the founder members of the band, A.D. Corsier that you've mentioned, um, he spotted Sam's, uh, Sam's qualities and, uh, and it, it didn't take long to offer her the position. And, um, and she's good songwriting as, as well. So yeah. it's the whole package, really, and we're really pleased we've got it. You know, that's fantastic. And I would never have picked it, believe me. Um, I thought you'd been well established in the band. You guys have been around forever in a day. Literally, you seem so comfortable with each other in your music. Yay, Verily, like, uh, Hit Me Like a Freight Train is the first song, as I mentioned to you, that I heard. And that's exactly what I heard. And it is that emotion that, uh, the, believe me, everything from right down later all the way up to the highs, the whole deal, that grabbed my attention straight away. Yep. So, right here, at Galaxy, <coughs> is the Heartland Roots Band being joined live with Hit Me Like a Freight Train. I love this track, I really do. Rodney, Rodney is joining us. <laughs> what did he say? I'm sorry, what did you say? No, I said we're really grateful, you know, that, 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 that A, you're playing it, and that, uh, you know, you've got exquisite taste, obviously by running it through your board to get a, to get a song there in the first place, but ultimate, ultimately it's about the music, and we, we genuinely are grateful, because it's a family thing. You promote a family thing with your stuff, and with our band, we were at school together, three of us, we grew up together, went our separate ways musically, and gravitated back later in life, and that's where we're at, you know. And, and we're and we're just grateful to be on the ride and having some fun, you know. So nice, that's nice. Where we're at. Hey guys, I've got to ask you, what's on the door behind you? What is that? Do you really want to know? Yeah. This is hot. Uh, shall I? <laughs> it's it's the finest OCD arrangement of takeaway menus you'll find <laughs> in each of your. I love that. That's fantastic. Oh, I move out the way. They're, they're all takeaway menus. Oh, I thought you were still getting stuff through the mailbox or something. You know, the old flyers no, no, come no, no. and buy at Bruscos. <laughs> you, you know, any kind of takeaway food, it's there. We could dial it and it would be delivered within half an hour. It's quite a choice, isn't it? <laughs> it is quite a choice. It really is. Yeah. Believe me, I've forgotten what that's like. I really have. <clears throat> Gosh, we've been away from the cities too long. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we, have, I live um, we used to live in Auckland, the biggest city that we've got. Yep. Uh, all of the yeah. staff here literally used to mm. live there and migrated down here uh, for a number of reasons, I've got to be honest, but we've been here almost 20 odd years before we got back into bringing radio back with us. I mean, I worked in some of the biggest radio stations in the country uh, but at one stage I, I decided I was sick of the city but wanted to go to the country but still had ties with the city and still went to work in the yeah, city, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so that was why we chose to come down here. Then I got sick of working for somebody else and said to all of my friends, let's build a radio station. I've got to be honest with you, when what? we put the board together, um, we chose everybody who had nothing to do with radio. Literally. We wanted their okay, opinions, yeah. not our opinions. What? Jennifer Turse, fresh ideas. Exactly, exactly. So uh, that's what we've had now for a, a good number of years. We've got a good formula going. And believe me, they are very strict of what I do. They really are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're good folks, okay. though. <laughs>
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it is an absolute pleasure today to be in Leicester in the UK talking to the Heartland Roots Band, of course we're talking about Nick and Paul. Uh, now guys, I've got a uh, young man, his name's Rodney, coming out of uh, Manhattan Beach. He's asking, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, do you respond? Yes, yes, yes to all of those and all major platforms, all major platforms, including TikTok, Insta, Facebook, you name it, with, with our websites, whatever. So we, we've had, we've had so far, we've been lucky enough to have 12 um, chart singles. They've all charted quite high um, in the Apple iTunes and, and indeed, I know I've mentioned the album a couple of times that came out uh, at the end of July, uh, that shot straight to number four. Uh, which was great. There's only Shania Twain keeping us off top spot. There you go. Um, but yeah, like Nick has said, all, all of our music you can obtain through Spotify. If you go onto YouTube, not only will you hear all the tracks, but you'll also be able to watch all the videos that we put together when each single was released. Um, not so much Instagram. We, we have done TikTok. Something recently. No, we've got a, we've got a presence on there. Yeah, we've got a. It, it'll, it'll be a growing presence which is the way forward. But to 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 your to, to our friend Rodney, where, where was he? Manhattan, did you say? Yeah, well, but Manhattan Beach. Well, Ma Rodney, Manhattan Beach. Thank you so much for showing an interest. Absolutely. Check us out. We'd be really grateful. And if you contact the band, we we, we do respond and, uh, and and quite quickly. We you know because we value the people that support our music. So but thank you, Rodney. But Spotify and YouTube, the whole lot is on there. Very very cool. Now, uh, Turin, coming out of Alberta, Canada, is asking, do you have a website? Can I go and buy merch? Yes, we do. We have got a website, and it's literally all lowercase theheartlandrootsband.co.uk. Very, very nice, and believe me, you might actually sell a few hundred t-shirts in no time at all. Uh, uh, actually, there's a good question. Do you have t-shirts on your website? Uh, we, we, yeah, we do, actually. If you go through, we have got the Heartland Roots. It's a nice t-shirt, actually. It's got the band the emblem, logo. the logo, and it's also got the, the font lettering, which is on our backdrop when we play live. It's also on my front skin of my bass drum, um, so the whole lot is there, and it's good quality. You can ask me the price, and I can't remember, but if you, if you, if you go online, you, you will find it, and, and you'll see, but the answer is, yes, we do have band t-shirts. Well, Paul, and we're Paul, Paul, any support that people give us that way through, through merch or through just viewing or liking the music, we're grateful, thank you. Believe me, Nick, and believe me, Paul, you should have said no, because my producer's just saying, I know what's coming next. Guys, yeah. how would you like to send me a T-shirt so that I can promote you when I do this? Uh, much like a good friend of mine coming out of North Carolina, Terry Van Cannon, uh, Slide Steel Master, absolutely brilliant man. Uh, we would be on What size are you, Grant? I will get Barbara to send you all the details, okay? Look, very safe. <laughs> and believe me, I don't care what price it is, it's my price if you're sending it to me, you know what I'm saying? It'll be the right price. There you go, perfect. I, I like those English prices, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really do. Right, can I just clear a couple of things up that have been spoken about previously? Sure. Um, the, 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 I think it was a lady you said from Knightsbridge in London, over in the UK. Many. Wanted up down there. Uh, whilst, we're, whilst we've been on air with you, business manager in the band has got in touch with me to say next summer we're in London. That's all I know at the minute, but if, if you know, keep on the website, have a look, all the, all the dates, the gigs, festivals, etc. They're all put on, on social media platforms as well. So hopefully you can come and say, hi, I was the lady on Galaxy FM, Galaxy 107 yeah. that spoke to you, can you remember? We'll have to say yes, of course. <laughs> as you do, as you do, every time. Believe me, and you smile while you're doing it too. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you might get a bullet from a gun. You never know. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Michael King is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Michael. It really, really is. And thank you for joining us. Uh, you've been coming quite prolific. I love it. Absolutely love it. I really do. And uh, very, very shortly, we're going to do something very special as well. Uh, we have a prezi. And you know me, oh. I love frizzies, I really, really do. Can't wait! But first of all, guys, uh, tell me about Bullet From A Gun. Okay, well, I'm probably best to tell you about this one, because 
uh, very, very clever song. Um, it was the demise of the previous drummer in the band, who I'll be very diplomatic about this. As oh, I understand come on, it. no, come on, don't be diplomatic. <laughs> he, he, was, he was quite difficult to get on with, difficult to work with. Um, and of course, yeah, I mean, all musicians know if you're in a band, it's like a second marriage. You've got to get on, you've got to be able to live together and, and coexist and stuff and produce arty material that you're all happy with and proud of. Uh, and unfortunately, this, is, this guy just didn't get it. Um, and so effectively, Bullet From A Gun is about him being fired from the band and, and then the band getting me in. So that's what it's all about. Okay, now I understand. And believe me, I wouldn't have called it Bullet From A Gun, I would have called it, you know, him, human from a bloody cannon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, yeah. Rock, a rocket out of your... <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I thought Elon Musk was a spray, okay? You're right here at yeah. Galaxy. Here's Heartland hey. Roots man, bullet from a gun. Hey. Oh, dear, 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 dear. So, um, what are we going to do about James Bond? I mean, Daniel Craig, no longer. I know, yeah. I know, we, 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 we're not sure, is, is it a female that's taken over? No, no, they, they tried that, but bothered. when he broke his yeah, ankle... Paul, Paul, Paul sent his CV in, they haven't yeah. responded yet. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> believe me, I understand. Uh, when he broke his ankle, six weeks he, they were down, and that's a long time in the film industry, right? A lot of money there. Yeah, yeah. So they entertained, they entertained the idea that, well, maybe, just maybe, they will turn James Bond into a woman, and the world went... Crazy. I mean, Ian Fleming didn't write a uh, money penny, sure, but not James Bond as a female. You know, it just doesn't work. So while he was down, they compromised. They do have a new James Bond in mind. I've got to be honest. Uh, he's gay. Well, okay, yeah, we've got no, your, your your knowledge is greater than ours. We don't know who's well, going to be the Bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what they're going to call him? Go on, Brook Bond. I don't know. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. Paul, you got to watch what he does with his Walter PPK. Well, yeah, he's packing a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you can call that a pistol anymore. <laughs> as, long, as long as he's not firing blanks, I think he's all right, you know. So. Oh, I don't know. Blonde. <laughs> yeah, James Bond. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Double O three and a half. Uh, at least he's not Australian, right? Yeah, well, there is a god. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tried that one. No, Didn't he's work. Thinking, he's thinking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, are you guys familiar with William Shatner? Yes. Yeah, Captain Kirk. I've heard you, William Shatner, joke, but tell it to Paul. Come on. Okay. okay. Come on. Um, do, do you realise why William Shatner, as of course Captain Kirk, changed the wording from "Beam me up, Scotty"? That's what they adopted because every time he asked "Beam me aboard," they kept sending him a plank. Oh. Are you ready for this? No, you yeah. see, that wasn't the one you were expecting me to say, was it, Nat? Because I shut my tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Something about Klingons or something. No, no. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, only if they're circling Uranus. <laughs> oh, hello, matron. <laughs> yeah. I have a wet nurse. I threw water on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, let's get back to the desk. <coughs> we have gasoline next, okay? This is your number one most requested track. And believe me guys, yeah. you'll be fascinated when I tell you how many people have actually been requesting it, okay? You really will. Yeah, thank you. Thank and you. Um, I hope this is far better than the BBC interview. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Although, having said that, guys, I feel like as old as the BBC sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I had a guy from New Zealand Radio say to me, uh, and these are the officials you pay the money to to take care of all the legal stuff for uh, copyright and everything like that. He says to me, Grant, yeah. we're going to call you the godfather of modern New Zealand Radio. And I says, nice, you're calling me old. Yeah. It's just an anagram of old. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and he just smiled and went, yeah, okay. Fair enough, that's true though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, I had another gentleman the other day say, Grant, this is a fantastic interview. It's uh, very old school with a new twist. You know what I mean? And I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm old school and the internet is the twist, doesn't it? You might be lucky to get on there sometimes. <laughs> it's the whole deal. Um, believe me, I've got to let you know, that 37,199 requests for gasoline since we've been playing what? it. Everybody, this is blowing up our internet. Literally, what? everybody wants to know who, what, when, where, how. This is really one of the most requested tracks we've ever had. How did that happen? Oh, man, we're so grateful. Thank you so much. What a, a surprising bit of news that is, genuinely. We didn't expect anything like that, you know, really. Oh, my goodness, just superb. Blown away, blown away. Yeah. Oh my God. Thanks. Well, thank you. Well, it's, it's taking the time to listen. And more importantly, for you guys to give us your airtime and your own personal time to, to put it out there. That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, really as, thank I, you. as I've said to you guys, we only play the best here. And believe me, <laughs> people around the world have voted by requesting. This is how we structure our breakfast show in the morning. It's not because I put it in or anything like that. What it is, it's all structured on how many people requested what artist, what song, through the shows. You know what I mean? And then we collate it. The uh, production team work tirelessly through the night to make sure that these shows are in place by 6 o'clock in the morning to start the breakfast show. Believe yep. me. Thank you to them guys as well. Yeah. They really do. And I've got to be honest, it has been a stable diet of mine in the breakfast show ever since we started playing it. People just went nuts over this track. And I know that Bullet From A Gun, number one with the iTunes in the UK, that's yeah. fantastic, and is starting, just starting to come onto the Galaxy Breakfast Charts right now. I've got to be honest with you, it's just off 40. I think it's about 41, something like that. But I reckon oh. it's going to make there easily in the next day or so. Having said that, normally, fantastic. Fantastic. normally when we yeah. are doing these interviews and we have artists on the charts, they go up exponentially the next day. After we've done the interview, everybody wants to hear it, everybody wants to know, and it just moves it up that much more. I want to see what tomorrow's going to hold for gasoline. I really, really do. I'm very fascinated with this, because you're at number 10 right now. That is phenomenal in its own right. I've got to congratulate you. Well, thank you. Very fantastic. It really is. So tell me about gasoline. I want to know the whole skinny. Why are people liking this so much? A well-written, well-structured song, if I may say, by um, by, by by the team, certainly by um, by by A.D. Corsia and, and Sam, who uh, who instrumentally writing quality songs, quality music, which is what it's about, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think really, it's it, it's it's got everything in that. Um, the intro gives you a bit of a nudge into this is going to be a country field song. And takes um, you away from it a bit. And then, you know, you've got jangly guitars going on. You've got the undercurrent of what the song is all about, which is obviously a relationship. You've got the innuendo with press the button on my machine, take me places I ain't never been. You know, you've got me firing on six. All that innuendo's there about yeah, right. the relationship that's, that's yeah. hidden. And, of course, gasoline's got the U.S. connection to it because they don't buy petrol. <laughs> they buy gasoline. Um but then, like many of the songs, we've got the superb lead guitar solo from Callum Bishop, yeah. um, and this uh, the three-part harmony in the chorus, which cuts through right till the end. Um, and we've got the nice, the nice Hammond organ sound from from Anna, yeah. Anna as yeah. well. Yeah. So it's it's got a bit of everything. It's got a bit of everything that HRB is all about. Now, Callum, uh, tell me a little bit about Callum. He's the young fella in the band, isn't he? Uh, but you're lead sure. guitarist. How long's he been playing? Okay, well, Callum um, is younger than us, is all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But Callum went off to university and in the UK and did a degree in music. Um, and so not only does he know absolutely everything about a guitar, he's also very good in the studio as well, because that production side of things was obviously part of his degree. The tax um, bag. He's also very good when a sound check's going wrong and the sound tech can't get it right. Normally, Callum's there with, with the nice. answer yeah. or suggestion. He's very polite. He's a pretty shy guy, but he's certainly he's certainly way over his age. He's, ability. He's, yeah. oh, ability-wise, he's, he's, he's on par with everybody in the band, you know? Which and, and I think that's why the whole thing fits together. But I can't tell you exactly how long he's been playing. What I can tell you is I know his dad plays guitar. So make of that what you will. Um, a, a, a very young age, I know, but I don't know the exact age. It's in his veins. It's in yeah, his it's in his blood, absolutely. And uh, I kind of picked that it was a you know. I really did. Uh, the haircut gave it away. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. U university students, haircuts. Yeah, believe me. Uh, Donnie Colton is joining us. Nice to have you back, Donnie. It really, really is. Today, we're about to just get into it hardcore because this is the number one Heartland Roots Band requested song. Here is Gasoline. Why don't you put the hammer down? i got to be honest, guys. This was the very last song I ever heard of you. When I was driving yeah. my car, and I couldn't, I, I didn't, I don't know how the hell I managed to get home so bloody quickly. I think it is music to drive <laughs> fast to. Jesus. The bass pumping, man. <laughs> Honestly, fantastic. And, and I couldn't wait to get into the studio the next day and say to Barbara, this is a deal. We do these guys. You know what I mean? Well, again, thank you so, so much. Well, I, I think between us, we fostered a, a healthy, nice, relationship you know yeah a, a, a positive with a love for music and a little bit of humor and, and certainly a lot of humility and and just uh just doing things the right way but yeah we fostered a, a great thing here we're happy to be part of the family very very cool well please uh pass on to the rest of the band okay fair enough it was midnight you guys made it what the hell <laughs> well <laughs> and, and Anna are both school teachers You're well school you know hey it's a school night for them Sam's got a newborn baby, so she's she's sucked up with getting the rhythm sorted out with the the baby, and, and Callum's basically working his backside off to uh, to to help fund himself and and find his way in life, you know. So Nick, I'm Nick, afraid you stuck Paul and I. Nick, <laughs> Nick, you are the get out of jail card right now, aren't you? <laughs> go, uh, go on then. You are, uh, Paul. Much yeah. respect, bro. Uh, from one man you follow to another. Don't go down this road. <laughs> oh, I we have to. You. I have to. Go down the footballing road, man. I have to. <laughs> I've been told you're a red, mate. I've been told you're a red. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, then you, you get to see them much. Obviously not. No, not, no, not here. You can't, you can't see not them. here. Uh, when I was over there, believe me, uh, I, I followed Aston Villa for a while. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and then I found Man U and, well, I... I got a friend of mine, my wife's friend who just passed away not so long ago, her Sorry, son, uh, her son actually is in the management of, uh, of uh, Menu, if you know what I mean, cool. and she cool. used to get uh, football garb from him all the time in the mail, guess who ended up with it, hello, well, <laughs> I wanted it, you know, so. Well, we, we love all that, you know, but. Uh, yeah, that's nice. It's nice to be nice and it's nice to know people, but, you know, that's how it works, yeah. isn't it, you mm. know, so. It is, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I don't presume I'm going to be getting too much more of it now that uh, she's passed away, you know what I mean? But believe me. God bless her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> lovely lady too, by the way. She really, really was. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we yeah must it's, it, it's, it's a sad, sad thing, but it's where yeah. we're at, isn't it? It is. You know, uh, life, you don't come out of it alive. No. No, no. no. Fun trying. <laughs> yeah, we all, it's the bit in between that you've got to crack on with. Yeah, it, exactly. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, see, did you see that Olivia Newton-John passed away not so long ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so. I, I just happened to make a statement. I wonder if they'll preserve her in Greece. And everybody thought I was horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was talking about the movie. 
say is if you pass up a chance to go and visit this band live on stage uh, really you need to be talked to these guys are that good go and take in a show go and buy the music get on the interwebby thing go and buy a t-shirt koozies guitar picks whatever is available just be a part of the heartland roots band movement they are on the way up the ladder they really are keep an eye on this you're really going to love it. You really, really are. Now, guys, I am going to have to wrap it up very, very shortly uh, with the interview. But we've got one more thing that we're going to do. Then I'm going to say hang in there very, very briefly after that because we're going to do the um, uh, the backstage stuff and you'll be amused with that. So, <laughs> this arrived today. Fascinating me. It really, really did because I had a look at it and I went, Nick, please, that name sounds familiar. Where is that from? And then I looked at um, uh, my bio this morning and went, of course, I, this is timing. And i got to ask you, Nick, how the hell did you get that down so tight? <laughs> <laughs> we do have to travel a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, we've received stuff that was sent maybe about three years ago, just the other month. Six months. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, really? Okay, let's take into the effect of uh, COVID. But what happened to the first year? <laughs> did, they get, did they get a racing snail or something to take it to the post box? Oh, God only knows. Uh, but yeah, believe me, three, three years later, uh, we received an item and uh, the guy was absolutely astounded. He says, I'd given up. Uh, we said we had two, to be honest with you. So let's break, let's break into this masterpiece while I have you in front of me. Uh, so you can abuse me for anything that may go wrong, and probably will. <laughs> you don't pass it in front of you for us to abuse you, Grant. Oh, Just <laughs> yeah, believe me, people talk about me all the time, they really do. Usually not good too, by the way. Uh, but having said that, bubble wrap. Uh, my producer is going to love you. <laughs> She's a bubble wrap girl, she really, really is. What? It's going to be popping, though. Yeah. Yeah, believe me, in about 20 minutes I'll be hearing it all over the place, so it really will. <laughs> so, I will give that to her right now. Knock yourself out. Um, <laughs> Heartland Roots Band, love this, believe me. Uh, mini EP, is it, of, of the latest uh, music that we've got out right now. Um, as you know... So that's the older one, Grant. That's the older one. Okay, so this is the new one? Something yes. better. That's, Something better. That came out at the end of July. Um, but uh, for, if people are interested with the other one, that's the logo, the emblem that's on the T-shirt on, on the, the, the older album. Right. That's, so that's, on the front, that's on the front of a T-shirt. So Rodney in Manhattan, if you're interested, contact us and we'll get one shipped out. Very but, but Something Better, the album... Um, Grand. That was that. That was as we've said. It's quite. A, it's quite a dark album. Um, it, it. It. The song is all taken together. It is a bit of a journey, from bullet from a gun right through to, to the the tenth track, um, Rock to My Roll. So there's stories in there in the lyrics about tragedies within the band, about illnesses, uh, and obviously us and the whole world trying to make sense of COVID. And so it's all very topical. Believe me, I, I'm right there with you. I really am very, very honoured to uh, have a copy, literally. You're, welcome. And, you're, uh, you're both welcome, both of you. Uh, I'm very, very honoured. And, and believe me, my friend, I'm going to treasure it. I really, really am. And um, you know what we need now, Grant, from your listeners? We need a, a stonking radio a, a record company out there that wants to take a punt on the Heartland Roots Band once they've listened to our album there. 
Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, would you be interested in uh, maybe big records? We're interested in talking with everybody and anybody to uh, to, uh, to to push ourselves forward and, and and have some fun and get our music out there. Yeah. So the answer is yes. Okay. okay Just well, let me do the journey and and take us to the next the next level. Let, let me fill you in on this, literally. And uh, believe me, uh, not only do I want to introduce you to these guys, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine in India who has a magazine as well and get you into that. Uh, believe me, he comes out of a region of about 8 million people. And Jay, I think he knows them all by first name over where he is. Believe me, he's a very popular man. So I do want to get you into uh, uh, a few opportunities. Uh, and believe me, it's all about promoting you guys. It's got nothing to do with me in the end of the day, if you know what I mean, except for the respect that I love, love, love your work. And uh, we'd love to be able to pass you on to some people that I respect. You know what I mean? Mutual respect, trust me. Thank you so much, Grant. Now, uh, Mark, uh, coming out of Big Records, he's with Sony Music and uh, The Orchard, if you know what I mean. Uh, he yeah. also has a TV company called Rise Up TV. Uh, and what they do is they have a big bus. Uh, you know Arliss? He's getting involved with these guys. Literally, he really, really is. So Thanks. believe me, uh, it's becoming a huge mu movement now. Uh, I think there's a, a deal with Universal coming in very shortly as well. It's just a whisper, I've been told. But Mark, superb man in his own right. He really, really is. Would love to get him and or one of his executives, one of the crew, to be able to get in touch with you. Uh, and uh, I think I'll get Barbara to tee that up for you because, believe me, this is fantastic. Take Thank you so much. And any introduction, we're, we're just so grateful for, really. But I mean, to... I mean, to get underneath the Universal umbrella grant is just that sort of the Christmases come at once for us at a band. Yeah, well, believe me, my friend, it's only a whisper that's been said to me by Mark himself. Uh, nothing has been confirmed yet, but he is right, negotiating. Be, absolutely. Fingers crossed. Very astute businessman is Mark, but he's very, very down to earth. Talks your language to you. You know what I mean? He fits in with you. He, he's not a suit and tie guy. And a, kind of guy until he has to be you know what I mean uh, he's more about the artist he's more about the music he's more about everything literally uh, than being the corporate deal but yeah. it just so happens he works in that zone as well so you know believe that's, me, that's where it's at with Mark you will love him you'll love Lisa you'll love Pamela you'll love Tim you'll love Don everybody involved with those guys over there fantastic and believe me have a look at the contract it will be self-explanatory. It's so good. It really, really is. And, and believe me, a uh, little work on both sides, if you know what I mean. It's not one side yeah. of thing. It's all about collaboration, making the machinery work and making the dream happen for everybody, not just one person, one band, one song, one item. It's about the whole deal. And he's looking to take you not just through one album, but he's looking to see if you're going to be around for the next 20. You know what I'm saying? Brilliant. Sounds like a good network. Right? It is. It is. Believe me, right. we have some very, very trusted friends. We've been doing this for a while, and uh, we know what we're doing. We only put our friends onto people we respect. Other than that, <laughs> we will avoid them like the plague and say nothing to nobody, <laughs> because it just doesn't work that way for our people. And we're all about music. We're all about the music the bands, the songwriters, we're about the artist itself and getting that message out there to you. We are all mm. about that. We don't charge a cent to do it. We really, really don't. Uh, we make our money on ads and stuff like that. We don't need to worry about charging artists like a lot of radio stations around the do, uh, around mm. the world do, which I think is yeah. just, uh, well, we nasty, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I would rather do it this way and get bands out there one day, just one day. You never know, you might send me a CD and say thank you. That's all I ask for. You know what I'm saying? That would be the least we could do for your help. Absolutely really. brilliant. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that, uh, that as far as future material, prolific. A.D. Corsia and Sam are prolific writers. And I, I would know for a fact there's probably another 40, 50, 60, 70 songs that we, we, we're sitting on. That, uh, that, that will be recorded at some point. Well, Nick, that, that excites me. That really excites me, simply because 
maybe, just maybe, <clears throat> you'll want to come and subject yourself to this torture again. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> we're suckers, suckers for it. We love it. Oh, it's all too much. It's yeah. speed to both of you. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. Brilliant. Uh, so, in the meantime, guys, uh, don't go anywhere just yet because right. we are going to do a few things backstage. But for you guys out there, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been, as always, a pleasure to have your company. And please come back again. We've got some very, very interesting artists over the next week, month, year. Believe me, it's all happening. It really is. And let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, right here at Galaxy, with Galaxy. Have a good day. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record.